Peter Marino is a multi-award winning architect. His vast portfolio spans public and private commissions, but it's the retail sector that he's become most known for. He's defined the modern luxury field. Never had the impression that it was complicated because he always finds the solution and he's very professional. Peter has a remarkable command to create sumptuous environments that sell luxury goods. He is not just an architect, he is a sensualist. My dad was an engineer, that's how I got into architecture. He designed like the dashboards of airplanes. And so that's how I learned how to draft. And uh, I was a kind of um, wild art student and I... <laughs> and I went to Cornell to study painting and sculpture. Well, I used to come to New York a lot, visit the artist studios. I saw what the pop artists were doing. They pushed paintings so far. Something inside my head went take the artistic talent you've got, funnel it into architecture. Well, I started doing residential projects. The first client was with Andy Warhol, and I started doing commercial projects with the advent of Barney's. Mr. Fred Pressman called me up and said, we're looking for a designer for Barney's. I said, Mr. Pressman, there's no point in my wasting your time. I've never done any shop. And he said, no, 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 no. I'm not looking for somebody who does stores. I know everything there is to know about doing stores. I want somebody with talent. And being the shy, retiring chap I am, I went, oh, you've got your man. And, <laughs> and that was the story of a seven-year collaboration. They took me to Europe and all the show. Met many, many, many designers. Before Barney's, I sincerely believe that no one took the fashion industry serious for architecture. Dress shops, luxury brands are the, are the proper, respectful venue for good architecture. And, I like to feel that I raised the bar worldwide for that. I look at designers' products, and I take inspiration from what the fashion designer does. This is the Chanel Ginza Tower in Tokyo, Japan. This is another Chanel in Osaka. A tweed of that lady's dress just blown up. I just think of the building as a, a sculpture, and the sculpture has to identify the brand. The other 25 to 30 percent of my business are large-scale buildings, and we got into that via competitions, international competitions. This is the first one that we ever won for the Palm Beach Opera House for the convention center in Doha, Qatar. Here's a competition that we won in Beirut, Lebanon. My style is something that actually defines the time in which we live. You must have a reason to have done what you are doing now. Part of what would make a Peter Marino space unique is the commissioning of art for residences, stores, hotels, health spas. It's more fun to bring artists in very early in the project and say, what would you do, where would you like to work, what do you want to do? And they help create spaces, they help create textures. Very proud of all the artists we've worked with. Everybody's got in their personalities thing that they love. Chanel's icons, her roles of pearls. I like a very simple ease of uh, circulation. I love tons of natural light. I'm as green as they get. I, mean, I seriously collect things. I buy photographs, I buy paintings. I have a well-documented collection of Renaissance bronzes. I, I have a collecting problem. But for me, it's all the same. The interior architecture, exterior architecture, landscape architecture. It's important to me that, as an architect, you make everybody's life better. I am absolutely passionate about the quality of the work.